everyone in today's video I'm gonna share with you how I transform my three-year-old son's bedroom from a baby room to a big boy room so I started off planning how I wanted to have this makeover look like so I did a rough sketch on a notepad and just kind of had already in mind some pieces that I've seen around the stores, especially like Hobby Lobby, and things I could potentially find that would look similar to the look that I was going for, I drew it on the sketch. And that helped me visualize more what I wanted to fit in each little area or wall space of this room. Then I also made a mood board. I just use Canva since it's free and just uploaded a bunch of pictures of different products that I thought would go really well and this helped me kind of eliminate what would work and not work in this room. So now that I have a plan, I'm ready to execute and I didn't buy everything all at once. I am a huge budget person and I like to save money so even when I want to have everything done right then and there, I had to wait. So over a period of several weeks, I would go to the store and whatever was on discount or whatever was on clearance and stuff like that, I would purchase little by little. So I started accumulating the things that I wanted in this room in the closet. And then I was finally able to have enough of the things that I wanted in this room to decorate it. The first thing I did to this room is added an accent wall. I went with a faux brick German schmear effect. And to watch how I did this for under $25, I have a previous video that I just uploaded last week. So if you're interested, I will add the link in the description. Once I was done with the accent wall, my husband came in to help paint the remaining of the walls an antique white color. And this is from Walmart, the color place brand, I believe. And this is already a pre-mixed color. So now that the walls are done, I am able to work on other projects and one of those things was to paint this toddler bed. It is a Delta brand toddler bed from Target. It was roughly around $79 to $89. So this was by far the biggest purchase in his room. And I used this Americana indoor outdoor paint from Hobby Lobby. I did use my coupon as always and it was about $5 and change and the color is lily pad so I thought it gave me a little bit of a vintage color vibes in his room. Now it's time to declutter and organize this room so I can start decorating. Just two of these industrial wooden shelves for $13 a piece at Hobby Lobby during their huge blowout clearance sale and I decided to use one of them here on the brick accent wall. To decorate it I used Tyler's old military boot camp graduation picture on here. I also purchased an old vintage airplane figurine from Hobby Lobby which was 50% off and an old Keebler toy that used to be Tyler's when he was young. I added this wooden airplane propeller that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. It came about to $10 and I also added this American flag which I purchased at Hobby Lobby for $5. baseball old vintage diagram picture at Hobby Lobby for half off which came about to $10 and added it right under the shelf. I purchased this black desk table lamp at Target and I believe it was $39.99 if not $29.99 somewhere around that price and I have this old vintage abacus that I got at the thrift store I believe it was $12 and I purchased this red shell at a vintage thrift shop for $20. 
I found a local shop that sells some of these nice vintage posters. So I got this one with the vintage ABCs and kind of DIY'd it by using some basswood as the topper and bottom of this poster. I didn't like it so I might switch it out eventually but for now it'll do. I did purchase the hearth and hand uh, magnolia clock and put it at the top of the poster and then I went to Michaels and purchased this little black chalkboard for about $10 and this globe I purchased at the thrift store which was another $10 this caddy where I'm putting all of Ezra's markers and colors and chalks and stuff was only $5 at the Target dollar spot. The desk and the chair was purchased at a vintage store which together was $40. What what are you drawing? Drawing a pigeon. I don't do it. I drop that. I drop that. My mother-in-law gave me this Hot Wheel cart holder and it used to be Tyler's when he was young. I really wanted a vintage medic flag somewhere in Ezra's room and I just was unsuccessful at finding one at the stores or online so I decided to DIY it. I found some white and red scraps of fabric at Hobby Lobby for about $3 or $2 total and I just coffee stained the white fabric to make it look a little aged. For Ezra's bedding, I ended up using some sheets from Target. It came in a pack of three for $4.99. It came with a fitted sheet and a loose sheet and a pillow sham. So I only used the fitted one and the sham. And the blanket I got at Home Goods for $19.99. Next to his bed, he has a little recliner, which he got for Christmas from his grandparents. And then the blue stool, I got it for $5 at a thrift shop. Next to the little recliner, I decided to put some wooden shelves. And I purchased all of the shelves at Hobby Lobby when they were at 40% off. So roughly each of them were about $4 and change. I thought this was a good idea because not only will the bookshelves keep the books organized, but it'll also add a decor element to the room. I had a little bit of trouble deciding what I wanted to add in this area, so I decided to just add this felt lion head that I made a couple months ago. Actually, I think I did it last year. And I ended up putting it up there and a lot of people voted on my Instagram that it looked good there, so I didn't take it down. And I did put some very vintage books here that I found at the antique store for a couple bucks. I think they were between a dollar and three dollars um, for these vintage pieces at the thrift store. So just underneath the book shelf area, I have this train wooden toy that is replaced a lot with and this vintage picnic tin. For curtains, I decided to DIY this myself. I couldn't find anything that I wanted at the stores or online, so it was cheaper to make and I purchased the fabric at Hobby Lobby for 40% off. Right by the window, I have this wooden toy chest that my mom purchased for $15 at the thrift store and it just really gave me vintage vibes here. And I just put a couple little toys on here that he likes to play with, his nightlight, and I spray painted this really standard fan. Just so it went with everything else in the room, so I decided to just spray paint it gold because that's what I had. Next to the toy chest, there is this other side of the wall and I decided to hang up this railroad crossing sign and I got that at Hobby Lobby for 10 bucks. Underneath the railroad crossing sign, I decided to add the kitchen that is replaced with a lot and right above it, I have the second shelf that I purchased at Hobby Lobby at $13 and I just decorated with some vintage items and then some more modern and then just little pieces of Curious George because I really wanted to keep this room vintage but also playful for his age. 
I purchased this vintage camping poster for $4.99 at a local store and I went to Hobby Lobby when they had their half off on frames and framed it. I purchased this coat rack thingy at Target for about $16 and for just purely decor purposes I found this at a thrift store for a dollar and decided to hang it on there. I purchased this towel fabric at the antique store for about $20. It was pretty large and I just cut it down to a cow hide shape. Ezra got this vintage fire engine truck for free a while ago and I just decided to keep it here as a decor piece. So this is Ezra's room before the makeover. I had already purchased some decor pieces so I stuck them in here making a little bit more of a clutter and he just had a bunch of toys like extreme amount of toys big toys mind you and we had our taught school learning supplies and his toy chest and just toys everywhere toy galore and his hamper just had a bunch of random things in it it wasn't even dirty clothes and it just still very much looked like a baby room here so i was ready to start this makeover and here is the after. I am so stoked. Everything came out on a budget and just how I envisioned it. Let me know in the comment section down below what are your thoughts on the room and what did you like best and even what you like least. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss videos just like this. I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.